Okay, and I'm back. We're right here by Sam 26000. This was the presidential aircraft, the first jet powered Air Force One. And this was the one that President Kennedy had flown to Dallas on. Calling four volunteers at 1430 hours. Time to rotate, time to rotate. So when he was assassinated, his body was flown back to Washington from Dallas. This was on the Boeing 707 airframe, it's also known as the VC-25. So, I'm going to be coming over here past the Hanoi taxi. The C-141 was the one that flew the first POWs out of Vietnam at the end of the Vietnam War out of Hanoi. And one of my volunteers working with me today, Jim Blackman, was the pilot who flew it into the museum here when it was brought in. I'll do a picture up inside it as we go past. So here you can see up inside the Hanoi taxi. The engine we're fixing to pass is what's on the C5M Super Galaxy. <clears throat> you can see the size of the engine on the C141 versus the size here on the C5 engine. Huge, huge thing. Great big behemoth. And basically this was a smaller version. The C141 was known as the Star Lifter. But you get an idea of the scale here as we go past it. And what we're coming up on here now is the crew compartment, the CCT-1, which was the crew compartment trainer that every space shuttle astronaut who flew on a mission trained on. You can go up onto it and see into the flight deck and the um, lower deck and the head. We built everything back to scale. You walk up and down the wings. I'm going to pause it just one second here. Please do not run. Sorry. Had to use my petty officer voice here because they won't listen otherwise. So I'm going to end this here. I'm fixing to go on the desk. So when I come back in a half hour, I'll go live again. So hope you enjoyed that, and we'll have more coming up.